What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, back to watch another death battle. Last week someone got a little angry because I rambled on about random stuff during the battle and they thought I wasn't paying attention. I was, don't worry. But uh, I was trying to make conversations so you wouldn't get bored just watching me sit there silently and watch a video. So I'm going to try to have more interaction without going off on a little ramble, blah 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 talking about whatever. I'm going to pay attention to the episode, even though I was already paying attention, but I'm going to only talk about the episode while I'm watching it, okay? And I'm really hyped for this one anyway, so I'm obviously going to pay attention because I love Iron Man. So I'm cheering for Iron Man. I've not seen any of the previews yet, though, because of my computer issues. That's also why this reaction video is a couple days late. But here we go. Iron Man versus Lex Luthor. Three, two, one, go! Better turn it up. Yes. Huh. Now I have two reasons to go to Texas. You'll never know the first. <laughs> like this one? Yeah, I'm such a suck up. I haven't had breakfast yet this morning. I'm hungry. I should have gotten breakfast first. There are the talented. There are the prodigies. And then there's me. Neither of those things. There's Anthony Edward Stark. Please, he prefers Tony. Howard and Maria Stark ruled a nine billion dollar military tech empire. They could have anything they ever wanted, except a child. Then Howard met an alien who decided to build a baby. How convenient, an alien just happened to show up when we wanted a baby. Thanks for making me feel bad about my intelligence, Iron Man. So cool. Upon returning to America, he nullified all weapons development at Stark Industries and dedicated his life to saving the world in his own way. Yeah, we're not talking like just donating to charity and being kind to your neighbor. Tony became a one man army of justice and began creating a new and improved armored suit that the public would eventually dub Iron Man. And then he made another one. <laughs> Jarvis. Hey, uh, if you're not doing anything, could could I maybe have one of those spare suits? 
That'd be cool. Ah, repulsor blasts. To fire high mass negatively charged muons as a concussive energy attack. Most commonly, these are fired from the palms of his suit. But if the situation calls for a bit more firepower, he can blast an even larger beam directly from his chest piece. Unity! <laughs> All of these features come standard. Chest Hadouken. <laughs> the name implies this upgrade was built to contend with one of the universe's strongest beings. With a combination of magnetic and hydraulic technology, in addition to the strength of the modular armor, the Hulkbuster can deliver far more powerful punches and hold its ground against the Incredible Hulk. Wow. Who is strong enough to lift a 150 billion ton mountain. But his most advanced armor yet comes in the form of his endosim armor. Part metal, part scary space alien parasite. Tony can summon it telepathically, use it to imprison his foes. I love how the alien stuff is always more advanced than the human technology. It's like we just automatically ex assume they're more advanced. Maybe the reason we haven't seen aliens yet is because they're not advanced enough to get here. Ever think of that? <laughs> I haven't seen the new Avengers. I'm not really into superhero movies. I'm more, I'm more into the like animated series in the comics, rather than the live action series. I don't know. I don't know why. I just am. Hmm. Whoops. <sighs> Clumsy Tony. Alright, Lex Luthor. I am not a DC person, so let's find out about this guy. He can destroy planets, withstand supernovas, and fly faster than light itself. What kind of person could possibly be the arch nemesis to someone like him? You'd have to be like a god made of magic kryptonite. Wrong! Nope, just a mortal man with a passion for business, <laughs> swindling, and green trench coats. Lex Luthor. Alexander Joseph Luther began his rise to the top from the very bottom. Hmm. I wonder if I'd look good in a green trench coat. The suicide slump. Yes, it was that bad. Under abusive parents, it was only by sheer willpower that Lex moved on to a better life. Yeah, willpower and some good old-fashioned social Darwinism. His parents died in a car crash when their car's brakes failed, leaving Lex alone. Don't feel bad for a second. He used their life insurance money to get out of the ghetto and start his own company. And he's the one who rigged their brakes! Although he used some legally questionable means, the infamous LexCorp successfully spread its influence throughout virtually all of Metropolis. In time, Lex came to practically run the city itself. Taking ownership of nearly every media outlet, Luther's positive public image was practically unopposed. But everything changed when the Man of Tomorrow showed up. In Lex's eyes, Superman was a massive issue for mankind. If humans no longer had to solve problems themselves, they would surely become a weaker race, completely dependent upon this otherworldly savior. So Lex began his crusade to remove him from the equation, and then promptly insert himself as the ruler of humanity. Lex is a cunning strategist, hmm. a mechanical 
genius who prefers to place his opponents in unwinnable situations. So he's fighting for dominance against someone who isn't even trying to gain world domination? And he's losing? That's pretty sad. The War Suit is a powerful battle armor created by Superman's other arch nemesis, the alien god known as Darkseid. And it's been further enhanced by Luthor's own design. Forged in the fiery pits of a That's like arguing for the last cookie and then the person who actually got the cookie only taking a bite and then throwing it away. Oh, that's the worst thing that happens. You wanted that cookie so bad and they just wasted it. It can also fly and has enough strength and durability to go up against Superman himself. Despite how capable the war suit is, you may feel it has an obvious weak spot. The giant hole where his head is. But old cue ball's program <laughs> is actually protected by an invisible force field. He just wants his opponents to know exactly who's beating the shit out of him. Hello, sunshine. Lex's weapon. Ooh. Well, hello to you. <laughs> he called me Sunshine. Being a genius multi billionaire, it's no surprise that Lex is a couple of his match the He's equal death stroke in combat, stabbed Supergirl. Snapped Brainiac's neck and defeated Power Girl in a single stroke. You can't blame him. I Good grief. Think anyone could handle more than a single stroke with Power Girl. However, Lex is not solely dependent on his war suit. He sometimes subjects himself to a kryptonite steroid, which has made him much stronger than an ordinary human. Capable of surviving wounds, nobody reasonably should. Yeah, like the time when a giant. You mean like Jin Kazama? That's actually really creepy. And his know-how with robotics goes past insane and into absurd. While confined to a prison cell, he built a talking flying robot that reads Moby Dick at such a high frequency it carved out an escape route through the floor itself, including perfectly shaped stairs. But most diabolical of all, when no one was looking, Lex Luthor took 40 cakes. He took 40 cakes with that's as many as four tens, and that's terrible. Strange thing is, that's actually officially canon. Bastard! Luther's hatred of Superman and drive to win are stronger than any machine he could create. Take, for example, the time Superman threw a satellite at Lex Corp Tower, bringing the building down on top of poor old Lex. This left the guy with half his face ripped off, all four limbs blew away, and he was impaled in five different places. Oh. Because all he wanted to do was kill Superman, he tried it anyway. So Superman just straight up punched the god out of him. Well, that's hardly accurate. Come on, how else would you describe that? Fair enough. Even so, when the Earth is threatened, you can count on Lex Luthor to look his enemies in the eye and fight for his people. And then exploit the hell out of him afterwards. You know what happens when you take on Lex Luthor? Good grief. Man's got mad. Alright, I'm still going with Iron Man. I do think, like, through power alone, uh, Lex Luthor has this, but everything else, like defense and speed maybe, Iron Man has. He has a wider arsenal, it seems like. And his suit looks more, like... Agile, like he could get around and do stuff more with it. Like raw power definitely goes to Lex Luthor, but I'm still leaning towards Iron Man. I still think Iron Man has got this in the bag. 
I may be being a little biased because I am a Marvel fan, and I really love Iron Man. He's one of the coolest, but I'm still going with him. Sorry, Lex. Looks like DC's going to lose another one. They're not as overpowered as you think, comic book fans. Oh, yes. Oh, I love these animations. So good. Oh, Lex, no, why'd you do that? What on earth? Is he gonna bring back Goku? I saw a Keyblade there, but who cares about that? Anyways. Those are actually really nice facial animations, just gonna point that out. Did they use like motion capture for that? Because that is really good. Cars are unreasonably expensive. Well, not all cars, but just special brands or something or whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to drive anyways. Look at me. Do I look like someone who's going to drive? Oh, the Hulk Buster. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Man, you better have an iron plan. Jarvis, reroute all power to the 
Arm and leg hydraulics. I have seen true power. You are nothing more than another ant to crush under my How about that? Oh. What's going on? We're out of power. Ah, figures. Fool, you're just like all the rest. Building a suit to save the world. Come on. Come on. This can't be it. This can't be it. No, 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 no. No. There's only one man in the world. Use the alien suit. Use the alien suit that's more advanced than regular suits because aliens. Me. Just hush your mouth already, Lex. No one likes you. Oh yes. Being a god can't be too hard. I mean, I'm the most intelligent, capable person on the planet. I'm not playing god. All this time, I've been playing human. Ooh. Come on. Yes. Oh, and the music goes so perfectly with this. Oh, the animation's so good. Oh. <laughs> Yo, come on, Tony. What? What did you take? Everything. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Oh no, wait, that's right. He could fight outside of a hu uh, outside of the suit. Oh man, come on. Don't survive. Don't survive this, please. Dialects, dialects, dialects. Come on. Come on, please, 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 please. Yes! Oh, I'd be a bit confused because of that end part. <laughs> Congrats, Iron Man slash Tony Stark. Because you're the same person. Where was I going with this? I don't know. Good job, you won! Yeah. Who's next? Next time on Death Battle. Oh. <gasps> oh. seen that in forever oh it's been so long this is gonna be so cool oh man oh this is gonna be awesome oh see you next time oh that was amazing